This video is a part of the ML Basics series, which are just a set of quick introductory videos intended to give you some mathematical background for machine learning. If you're already familiar with these concepts, these videos will probably just be a quick refresher. In this video, we'll be talking about one of the most important foundational concepts for machine learning and neural networks, derivatives. Derivatives and the chain rule form the basis of backpropagation, which is the method that allows a neural network to iteratively improve itself. First up, Natalie, what are derivatives? Well, derivatives are just a mathematical way of saying rate of change. For example, if you have a function f of x equals 2x, the rate of change at any point on the function is 2. For every one step in the x direction, you take two steps in the y direction. You may have noticed that this is just the slope of the function. The steeper something is, the bigger the derivative. For more complicated functions, the derivative at each point of the function can actually change. For example, let's look at the function x squared. The slope of this function changes depending on where we are. Where x equals 2, the function is very steep and it's sloping upwards. In fact, the slope at this point is 4, and so the derivative at this point is also 4. At x equals 1, the slope is positive but less steep. The slope at this point is 2, and so the derivative is 2. At x equals 0, the slope is perfectly flat, and so the derivative at this point is 0. When x is negative, the function slopes downwards, and so the derivatives become increasingly negative. You can see that the derivative forms a line, expressed by the function 2x. A derivative of a function can almost always be described by another function. We write the derivative of a function using an apostrophe, and we read it as f prime of x. If you're interested in learning more about how to calculate lots of different types of derivatives, check out some of the resources that we've linked in the description box below. So finding the derivatives of simple functions like these is pretty straightforward. But what about more complicated functions? What do you think, Harini? Well, we can use the chain rule, which is basically a formula that allows us to calculate the derivative of composite functions, which are functions within other functions. For example, let's say you have a function h of x equals 2x plus 3, another function n of x equals x squared, and the composite function f of x equals n of h of x. If you wanted to calculate the derivative of f of x, you could go through the trouble of decomposing all of the functions. Or you could use the chain rule, which states that the derivative of n of h of x, here we're writing that as f prime of x, can be calculated by finding the derivative of the function n of x at h of x, and then multiplying that by the derivative of the inner function h of x. So let's try to use the chain rule for the example that we saw earlier. h of x is 2x plus 3, so its derivative is 2. n of x is x squared, so its derivative is 2x. Now we can plug these values into the chain rule, and this lets us calculate the derivative of the composite function much faster. The chain rule also stacks without limit. For example, if you have a three-layered composite function, it would work like this. And similarly, you could extend this to a four-layer composite function, and so on. In general, you start by taking the derivative of the outermost function and continuously multiplying by the derivative of the inner functions until you reach the innermost of the composite functions. In machine learning, the chain rule is really important for doing quick calculations on neural networks with lots of layers, which are basically just lots of composite functions. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. We hope you liked it, and if you did, please leave a like, a comment, or a subscribe.